Scott, I know magic really isn't your field, but do you think you could take a look at my mirror? It's not working right. Hmm. Well, I'll see what I can do. I think I've got Hermione's wand around here somewhere. Materials for this prop include cardboard, duct tape, aluminum tape, purple, green, blue, pink, and white paint, a small oval mirror, barbecue skewers, adhesive foam squares, a hot glue gun, super glue, scissors, an exacto blade, and a pen or pencil. First, trace the oval mirror onto cardboard. Next, measure and draw an oval a half inch outward on all sides from the first oval. Draw a center line at the halfway point. My mirror is 7 inches long, so my line is at the 3.5 mark. Draw another oval a quarter of an inch inward from your original oval. On your center line, mark inward an additional quarter inch at both ends, and draw a curving triangle from the points to the inner oval. Here's what you should have so far. Measure to find the vertical center of your mirror and draw a line. Extend this line past the bottom of your design by 8 inches. Draw this design coming from the bottom of the mirror. Add this design to each side of the mirror. They should extend about a quarter inch from the outer oval. At the top, draw this design, extending about an inch from the outer oval. You can add this pattern at the base of the mirror as a placeholder, but ultimately I cut it off. Cut out this design, trace two more templates, and cut them out. Use an X-Acto blade to cut out the center section of your first template. Remember to exercise caution when using an X-Acto blade. Place two barbecue skewers on one of the intact templates so the entire handle is secure. Duct tape the skewers in place. Cut four thin cardboard rectangles, place them as spacers on the mirror, and duct tape them in place. Be sure they're on the same side as the barbecue skewers. Trace the mirror's oval shape on the third of your template pieces, and use super glue to attach it in place. If you can't get a mirror, add substitute aluminum tape in its place. Wrap the first template in aluminum tape. Next, use the template to trace this portion of the mirror. From this tracing, draw this leaf pattern. Trace the interior of this space on cardboard, then draw this design in the middle. Trace the top portion of the mirror and draw this design within it. For the base of the mirror, trace this section and draw this design. The patterns are different at the front and back, so you'll need this design for the back. Cut out all of these decorative pieces. Use the side leaf template to trace and cut out 7 more for a total of 8. Cut the rose blossom piece away from the front top piece and trace the blossom 4 more times for a total of 5. Remember the 6th blossom piece is still connected to the back piece. Cut out this design from it. Draw the following patterns on the blossom pieces. 3 for the front and 2 for the back. At this point, you should have eight side leaf pieces, the front blossom with leaves and three blossom pieces, the back blossom with leaves and two blossom pieces, the front base piece, the back base piece, and the back middle piece. Reattach the front blossom piece to the top leaf piece with aluminum tape. Wrap the rest of the decorative pieces with aluminum tape. And now it's time for paint. I took some creative liberties with the colors and decided on several lighter tones. You can either buy the lighter paints, or mix the colors you want with white. Your choice. For the main body, I mixed purple and white. The most crucial part here is the inner surface that is closest to the mirror, because you won't have the opportunity to repaint it. Paint the leaf sections light green and the blossom pieces pink. Paint the base pieces and the middle back piece light blue. If you haven't already, cut away the placeholders at the base. Stack the three mirror templates with the barbecue skewer piece on the bottom, followed by the mirror piece, and finally the piece you just painted. Connect the three at the base with duct tape. Tape around the sides to connect the upper portion of the mirror. Avoid attaching duct tape to the mirror itself. At the top, cut this portion out of the placeholder section on both sides of the mirror. Wrap the edges from front to back with aluminum tape all around the mirror, including the handle. Repaint the entire mirror purple, front and back. Use hot glue to attach the front blossom piece to the top of the mirror. The blossoms should line up as shown. Once it's attached, fill in gaps between the piece and the mirror with hot glue. Attach the second and third blossom pieces and fill in the gaps with hot glue. 
Attach the side leaf pieces in this pattern on both sides and fill in the gaps. Attach the blossoms and leaves to the back of the mirror. Fill in the center space at the top with hot glue. Glue the front base piece in place and fill in the gaps. Glue the back base piece and back middle piece in place. Use the glue gun to create this design on the base piece and on the leaf pieces. Create this design on the handle. For the pommel, draw and cut out a smaller raindrop shape and attach it to the bigger shape with an adhesive foam square. Repeat on the back. Cover the pommel in aluminum tape, paint it purple, and complete the handle design. Use paint to touch up the mirror. I chose to paint the sides green to align with the leaves. Be sure to paint the glue at the top pink. Be sure also to cover the hot glue designs with the color of the decoration. And there's your finished magic mirror. Prepare. There you go. All fixed up. You know, you do look an awful lot like Hermione. That's absurd. Hermione was born in 1979. I would have to have a time machine. Or a time turner. <laughs> <laughs>